Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a controller overlay for OBS. Okay, so to do uh, this here, what we're going to do is you're first of all going to have to create yourself a GitHub. Uh, GitHub is free, uh, it's relatively easy to use. Uh, so once you sign up to that there and you get to the main sort of menu, what we're going to do is we're going to click up here where it says your repositories. Uh, now, whatever you've named your uh, your GitHub, so like mine in this case is newbie ones test. Uh, you then want to make sure that you copy that, and whenever you create your new GitHub, that you change it exactly as that. So I'm gonna just show you, but I've already made one, so it won't let me make another one. But you're gonna uh, paste in that, and then you're gonna do dot GitHub dot io. Now, once you've done that there, as you can see, I can't do it. You're going to select public and you're going to select create repository. I've already done so. So we're just going to go back to uh, my original one, which is here. OK, uh, once you've got this opened, uh, you're then actually going to minimize it because we're going to work on that in a little bit. Uh, OK, the next part we're going to do is I'm just going to use Chrome because I'm more familiar with the, the inspect element. We're going to open up GamePad Viewer um, and we're going to uh, move our controller around. Uh, and then we're going to select a controller we're going to use. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using an Xbox controller. Uh, however, this here works uh, the exact same way for the PlayStation, and I will show you along the way how to get the PlayStation files and so on. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to select uh, player one, and then we'll see a controller overlay open up. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, we're going to inspect. Once you've inspected that element, you're going to go to sources, okay? That's the third one across, sources, and you'll have up here where it says Xbox assets. Now, if you are on the PlayStation controller, uh, you want to then just select here and select PlayStation. And now, as you can see, it has opened up the PlayStation 4 asset. So now you can find all these files here. Now, as you can see, there is accessed all the editable files. Uh, it's probably not a word, but we're using it this time. Uh, we're gonna go into Xbox, uh, Xbox for the sake of this tutorial. I can't speak today, sorry about this, guys. Uh, so Xbox assets, uh, you can then click into each one that you need. We're then going to right click. I already have these, so I'm not going to bother getting them again. But what you're going to do is you're going to right click, you're going to open a new image, and then you're just going to hit save as. Once you save as, it'll save it as an SVGZ file. That's fine. I recommend you put them all into one folder. For example, I've put mine all into a folder called uh, Xbox OG and PlayStation 4 Black OG. Um, again, you can do whatever you want. That's up to you. Uh, and we're just going to exit out because I've already saved that. Once you've done it for all the files that you want to change, uh, what we're going to do is we're then going to uh, minimize and we're going to open up, in my case, Photoshop, but uh, you're more than welcome to use uh, GIMP or anything else. Um, GIMP will do the exact same job. Uh, for today's, I'm just actually going to just delete this. But basically, uh, what we're going to do is you're going to hit File Open, and then you're going to open your file, and it's going to look something like this. So this is the Xbox OG base file, and we're going to hit Open. Uh, whenever this pops up, make sure that you set your resolution to 72. 72 is the perfect resolution. It gives you the exact size you need. Um, and uh, if not, there's the width and the height that you need anyway. We're going to hit OK on that. Now that you've got that file opened, uh, we're going to now uh, edit. Uh, but what I want you to do is create a duplicate layer. Uh, on your secondary layer, what you're going to do is you're going to uh, highlight uh, with the magic tool, uh, the part of the control, actually we need the positive part of the tool, one second. Uh, we're going to highlight the part of the controller that you need. So in my case, I'm just going to highlight all of it just now and then delete the parts that I don't need. Um, so we're just going to hit the negative part. We're then going to uh, take out that. Okay, so I'm going to make sure that we get all of this little circle. Uh, there you go. So that's that done. And again, we're going to do the exact same with this. We let go. It's probably going to give me some little bits. No, that actually worked perfect that time. And then also the D-pad. So we're going to negate the D-pad because we uh, we don't want the D-pad. I have no idea why it's been so pernickety with the D-pad today. Normally it picks up the D-pad perfectly. Um, but as uh, when any tutorial goes well, things don't uh, go as planned. Anyway, uh, back to it. We're going to just tidy this up a little. Uh, You know what it is? Uh, the heart of the size of this is way too big. That's where. There we go. 
Okay, apparently it's broken. Um, anyway, once you've got these highlighted uh, like that there, fairly simple. All we're going to do is we're going to paint the top layer um, and we're going to just take a, a paint color and we're just going to choose any color. So for this tutorial, I'm going to choose just I'm going to choose this sort of like weird color here. We're going to grab the paint tool uh, and we're going to paint. Now you can uh, you can actually minus out those parts if you like, um, like this for example, um, so that you can get a really really clean looking controller. Uh, again, how you edit this is up to you, but this is just for tutorial purposes, so I will be speeding through this. I'm going to go back to the paint tool, and we're going to just paint this part of the controller. As you can see, it's not doing the D-pad, and it's also uh, not doing the start and select buttons. Uh, those uh, don't need to be covered. Um, because uh, or th those don't need to be uh, painted, but the ABXY is fine, and so is the the sticks because they're sorted afterwards. Okay, uh, so now what we're going to do is again, you can uh, highlight whatever other parts you can paint up here. As you can see, that messed up on me, but all you have to do is fix that. I'm not going to bother for the sake of the tutorial. Now we're going to go file, we're going to export, and we're going to export as. Okay, once you do that, there you're going to uh, export it into a folder, uh, so they're all in the one place. Um, as you can see, 750, 630 height, and that's in pixels, and the format is PNG, so that means there's no background. We're going to export all. Once we export it, we're going to choose our folder. Uh, in my case, we're choosing the final folder, which is basically the one I created for this tutorial. We're going to call this base mod. Uh, I like to call them base mod just because I know then it's a modified file that we're working with, uh, and then I'm going to hit save. You can do that same thing for all of the files. So again, I'll open up another one and uh, we will show you. You'll just go back here and you've got then stick. You can go in and open up the stick file. Again, 72 resolution or there is the exact sizes for the Xbox controller. We're going to hit OK. Now, right, once you're in here, uh, please note that the left one, the white, is actually what it looks like when it's pressed down uh, on your analog stick. And this one here is what it looks like standard whenever you're just moving normally. So again, we're just going to uh, take this here. We're going to take the paint tool, uh, the paint tool. And just for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just doing a very, very simple, um, simple dot in the middle. Uh, nothing fantastic, nothing clean or tidy. It's just thrown in there just to show you how it looks. Once that's done, we're going to hit file. We're going to export and we're going to export as. And again, as we did before, we're just going to verify uh, 16983. That's fine. PNG, perfect. Export all. And again, we're going to go back to that folder that we initially were working with, which was the final. And we're going to call this one, uh, yep, you guessed it, stick mod. And then we're going to hit save. Now, just for the, the basis of this tutorial, we're actually going to open up the last one quickly, which is the ABXY. We're going to open that. Uh, again, 72 resolution, 2.716, 1.344, we're going to hit OK. Now, uh, again, for the basis of the tutorial, I, I'm just going to choose the this here paint uh, file again, or the paint option. I'm just going to select black, and I'm just going to blacken out uh, all of these just for the tutorial, because then you can see, and I'll work right out that. If you're wondering what the paint uh, picker tool I'm using, if you are using Photoshop, you can hold down Alt and it will allow you to just pick the color. Um, and then when you release, it allows you just to uh, paint, okay? Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hit uh, File, again, Export, Export As, and again, Export All once you've verified, PNG196, perfect. Uh, we're going to now go back to that folder, Final Folder, ABXY, and again, you guessed it, ABXY Mod. Okay, we're going to hit save. Now, once you've uh, edit, uh, once you've done the edit to all your files that you're wanting to work with, you're then just going to minimize down your Photoshop uh, and just verify that you have all the files that you want and they're all named correctly. Okay, once you've done that, there, what you're going to want to do is go on to the website uh, gamepadviewer.com, uh, and when you're in here, you're going to go to style.css. Now, uh, initially, it's going to start you up here uh, where it says fonts import. All you're going to do is hit on your keyboard, control F, and then we're going to type in whatever controller you're using. So if you're using the PS4, you're going to type in PS4. And as you see, it says begin PS4 controller styling. But again, I'm using the Xbox One. So we're just going to go Xbox One. 
And again, there you go, begin Xbox One controller styling, and we're going to drag here. And we're going to go the whole way down, just highlighting all the way down until it says Xbox End, which will be any time now. Uh, once we've got that, we're just going to hit Control, hold Control, and then hit C for copy. Uh, otherwise, you can just right click and copy link address, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong on that, but just Control C is much easier. Uh, we're then going to open up uh, this uh, folder again, and in here all we're going to do is right click, uh, right click, uh, new, and then we're going to go to text document. We're going to call this final, because that's what we've called the folder, and it's just easier, and we're going to then open up this text document. In the text document, you're going to paste everything there. Uh, as you can see, it's pasted everything from the Xbox end to the Xbox startup at the top here. Uh, begin, yeah. And you can see that in between some brackets, you have background URL and then you have assets base. And I'm sure you'll see down here that you have another one called um, where it start select and a few other ones up there. And you've got ABXY, which is the one uh, that I told you I'm using, and stick. So really, we only need a stick. In this case, we only need the stick, the base, and the ABXY. So everything else we can remove. Uh, otherwise, it just uh, starts to become a pain. So we're just going to uh, delete everything. Just ensure that when you do delete everything, that you leave a bracket, space, and then the next file. In this case, I don't need any of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drag the whole way down until parts I need. So quadrant don't need, uh, I don't need the arrows, I don't need any of this, start select. So I'm going to go the whole way down. And as you can see, there is the ABXY. So I'm going to uh, delete this part again because I don't even need this AB, ABXY here because I only need the part that has the file that they're using. And we're just going to delete. And again, ensure that there's only one space between. Okay, so now we have ABXY base and we have the buttons pressed and so on. We're now going to scroll all the way down. Now see that uh, there is sticks. You can keep that in. It doesn't really matter, but you can delete it. And then you can see on down here, sticks pressed, sticks pressed, D-pad. We do not need D-pad because I'm not changing the D-pad in this tutorial. Uh, we're just going to delete that. So now you have a, a lot smaller of a file. Um, you've got Xbox base, you've got ABXY, and if you scroll down, you have sticks. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to open up that file that we had before. We're going to just drag it to this side, and we're going to open up this side. Um, using the snap feature. It's just easier so we can see exactly what we're working with. And over here, you'll see that it says Xbox assets base SVGZ. We're going to delete that there just by highlighting. And then we're just going to hit backspace. Uh, whoops, uh, bear with me. Uh, we're just actually just highlight it. And the better way to do it is actually just to type in uh, base mod dot PNG. Now, it's hugely important that you type in .png after you type in base mod. Otherwise, uh, it will not find the file you're looking for and it will break it. I'm going to go back down here and then abxy, abxy mod. So again, abxy mod.png. Uh, if you miss out in the PNG, it will break it. So just keep that in mind. I spent many of uh, hours figuring out why it wasn't working and it ended up just being as simple as forgetting to put .png. Uh, Xbox asset sticks. We're now going to do the last one, which again we called stick mod .png. Now that this is done, there is one big vital part that we need to do, which is file save as. Okay. And when we're saving as, we're actually going to save it by whatever the file name that we've created before is fine. But at the end, we're just going to type in .css. Okay, so .css will actually turn this file into a CSS file. So now you can see that we have the CSS file, which is a cascading style sheet versus the text documents. So we're actually going to delete this because we don't need it. And we've got that. So now you can see that we have ABXY, base mod, final, uh, and stick mod. If you do the bumpers and the d-pad and all the rest, it will all be here and it will be in this file. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just doing three, uh, the most important three, I guess, because it makes the biggest changes to the control. Uh, we're now just going to minimize that down. We're going to exit that code and we're going to minimize that down. And we're going to open up our GitHub uh, again. I have it on Edge because I'm logged into my main one and the other one, and this is just for test purposes. Um, but again, what we're going to do is once you're in your uh, repository, again, if you've lost it, you just go to your repositories and make sure you've chose the right one. So in this case, newbie one test.github.io. 
Um, I've tried all the other ones where I've changed the number and so on of this part and it actually breaks it. So uh, make sure that you have the exact same name, uh, .github.io as your, your base name, okay? Uh, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit upload files. And from that, we're just gonna open up our folder and we're just gonna go back to the desktop where I've placed it and we're gonna grab the final uh, folder and we're just gonna, second, we're gonna drag and drop, super simple. Uh, we can now close this down, we no longer need that. Once we've got this done, you'll see that they've all uploaded and they're ready to go. Make sure that you commit changes, okay? Once you've committed the changes, you'll see that it adds this folder into your uh, repository along with any other ones that you've done. So I've already done test, uh, test one, test one, two, three, the one, okay? Uh, just making sure that this works multiple times. I've tested it several times. We're gonna click into final. And then we're going to just click onto our CSS file. I, I recommend you do this because it's the easiest way to copy and get it exact. So we're just going to copy or click that and we're going to copy this part here. Okay, control C again or again, right click, copy. Then what we're going to do is we're going to open up our, not that, we're going to open up our gamepad viewer. But this time we're just going to open up a fresh one just to show you. Gamepad viewer. Once that opens, you then see the wee three hamburger or the little hamburgers with three lines and we're going to generate a URL. Uh, then down below you'll see edit CSS URL. We're just going to paste in our uh, uh, GitHub uh, and then we're just going to type here at the very beginning HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash and somehow I clicked off it uh, forward slash forward slash sorry. Uh, so once you've typed that in at the start uh, you're then just going to copy your link you can open up a new tab paste that link that you've just copied and that will show up now as you can see there is the white there is the pink okay there's the black buttons with the white and everything else is just standard uh, as well as the d-pad again if you want to change the d-pad and so on you just copy exactly what i was doing uh, and then add it in as the code or just don't remove it as a code and then change that file name to the same uh, file that you've edited uh, it's the exact same with the PlayStation, only the difference with the PlayStation is it will have a slightly different sizing. Um, so just for argument's sake, I have some ones already done. So I'll just hover over them so you can see the actual uh, files. So let me just go in folder. Uh, we'll go on to Cosmos, we made one for him. And if you go over there, you'll see that it's 806 by 599 and the sticks in this case are 286 by 94. Um, so we're just going to exit out. So there you are. Now this is how simple it is. You just take this link, okay, which we already have copied, but I'll just copy it again just to be sure. We're then going to grab your OBS and to test this out, we are going to hit add, add browser source, uh, add source. Then we're just going to click here, add a new source. And we're going to call this delete me for the tutorial. Delete me, add source. Now it'll show up in a little uh, little box here. You're just going to paste in your URL and then hit done. And there you go. There you have it. You have your new overlay custom done onto your OBS. Uh, you can then do what you want and resize it. Now one thing I will actually recommend, sorry, uh, when you are on here, change this to 806. And I do recommend uh, changing it to about 660. For that and hit done that means it won't cut off any of the top uh, for some reason it cuts off a little bit so then you can just resize it and move it to the corner or wherever you want to do it and as long as you have your controller plugged in that'll work i hope that helped i uh, feel free to subscribe uh, i also uh, do uh, twitch streams as well so my name's newbie one kenobi uh, kenobi spelt with a one at the end uh, i'll put it in the link below um have a nice day and hopefully that helped